Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace the logo on your Joomla website. So I'm opening this, the website up in uh, Firefox because I'm going to use some of the plugins that come with Fire. Well, that doesn't come with Firefox, but you can add them to your Firefox browser. So I'm going to use Firebug right now, and I can press this button right here. You can probably barely see it, but that's the button for Firebug, um, or I can just press F12, so that's what I'll do. I just want to find out the exact um, CSS class or ID that goes with the logo. So I'm going to go down here, and as you see, the website lights up when the code that's associated with that um, part of the site um, gets rolled over. So the header, good. Logo. Okay, so here we have a class called logo, and inside of it, it doesn't have any uh, image tags in there, so it's not really showing me exactly the name of the logo um, a file name. But I do know now that there is a class called logo, so I'm going to look that up into the CSS of the site. So I'm going to switch back to Chrome and log into the site back end. So you, excuse me, you have to type in the um, administrator, type in administrator at the end of your uh, address for your site. So log in here. And to get to the CSS, we're going to go to the template manager under extensions. And we're going to click on the um, active template. So click here, and we're going to go to edit CSS. Sometimes the logo is actually hard coded in the HTML, so sometimes you'll have to, if you don't find things in the CSS, you'll might have to go to the HTML to um, look up where the logo is. But I'm pretty certain it's going to be in CSS since it was a uh, class. And you're going to go to template. If you see an RTL, that means right to left. So um, any languages that read right to left, that's when you would use that template. So in this case, we're not going to deal with any RTL uh, templates. So I'm just going to go to template CSS. I'm assuming that's the main template. Um, it looks like it is. There's not a lot here. Sometimes there are a lot of t um, CSS files, but here there's only four. It's pretty much going to be template. So I'll click edit. If you don't find what you're looking for in the template, CSS, then go to another one. It might be called General CSS. Um, and they may, depending on who built the uh, template, they may um, call their main uh, CSS file something different. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's a template. So we're gonna try to find that logo uh, class. So Control F. And I'd already put logo in earlier, so I'm just gonna try to find the next one. Click next. All right, so here's all the logo <clears throat> information. It says H1, so it may or may not be that um, CSS tag or information, but I'm pretty sure it is. Actually, I know it is. Because I've already looked through this to make sure, but um, and there are no other ones that have a width or height that makes any sense for this logo. And it has the URL that says images. Um, it's in the images folder of the template and it's called logo PNG. So that's going to be what we're going to um, focus on when it comes to, re to replacing the logo. And I don't like to just erase code that's already there. I might want to change it. I might mess up. So I'm just going to copy it and then comments out the original code. So control C, control V to paste. And we're just gonna comment out this code. Okay. Now it says the width is 208 
208 pixels and the height is 80 pixels. I believe that makes sense, but let's just go back to the site and try something else to see if that makes any sense. I would go to miscellaneous and go to our display ruler. This comes with the web developer um, plugin for or add on for Firefox, so you might want to get that and add it onto your Firefox browser. And I'm just going to see if this logo is around what it said. Okay, 212.55. So I'm thinking since it's PNG, it probably has a transparent background and the height probably spans this whole area here. And 213 is close to what it said. Let's see, it said 208. So I believe that is the area that um, I'm going to have to uh, do some changes to. So I made the logo already, and let's try to find it. And mine is 302 by 76. I happen to have tried this out, and I know that you can make the width a little bit bigger. Um, since here, there's a lot of space here for the logo. It's just the height that you might want to not mess too much with. Um, I am, unless you're really good with CSS or at least um, average with CSS, then you might change the height for the header area altogether. Um, I might not make that much of a difference at all, um, but I just try not to mess with it too much uh, just in case I don't want anything to break apart for the website. So that is why mine's is 76 in height, so it's not over the 80 uh, pixels in height. So, and mine is called main underscore logo that PNG. So now we're going back to the back end of the site, and I'm going to change this area, which is the new code for this uh, logo tag, and I'm going to change this to main underscore logo. I'm going to change the width to what I have for my logo image, which is 302. And the height, I believe, was 76, but I'll check that again. Yep. Okay, so that should work fine. And I'm going to just get out of this and click Apply. So now, we just have to upload the new logo. So we'll go back to our FTP software. I'm using FileZilla. And I'm going to open up my install file folder in my computer and open it up in my server. I'm going to go to templates. And the active template is JA Purity. And go to the images tag uh, folder. And as you see here, the logo PNG is there. We just want to upload our, our logo so that um, it can find it. And also, as you can see, our logo is 96,000 bytes, or closer to 97. And the original was 9,000. So I might want to optimize this image in the future. Uh, it, may, it will take a bit longer to load this one than the original logo. So um, just keep in mind file sizes. Don't want it to be too big. And uh, I guess I wasn't really noticing that at first when I made this logo. So let's go back to the site and see if this loads. So click refresh. Yay, so there it is. Uh, it did take a bit longer to load, so uh, it'll probably, um, your either your computer or your internet service provider will probably um, hard save it or hard cache the image, and it probably won't take so long the next time, but just in general, you should probably make sure your image is um, optimized to be around the same file size as the original logo or, or even smaller if possible. Uh, so that is it. We've replaced the logo and I will see you on the next tutorial. Have a great day. Bye.